What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I just want to make a quick video again to show you guys how to tie a uh, tinsel skirt with a hoochie. And pretty much it's pretty simple. You just tie two hooks on there, then you put your hoochie and your tinsel skirt on. And this is a very effective way to catch a coho and chinook salmon out in the ocean. You just put a chunk of herring or a chunk of bait, whatever, on this top hook right here. And you control this or you can mooch it, depends on what you like to do. But it is overall a very easy and effective way to catch fall chinook out in the ocean, along with coho as they're coming into our rivers and estuaries. So if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and uh, let's get into it. All right, guys, basically all you're going to need is you're going to need two size hooks, whatever you want, whatever size you want to use. I'm going to be using 5 aught. These are Gamagatsu, just normal bait hook. And then you're going to need a swivel. I'm using a bead chain. You got your hoochie, and this is a P-line uh, tinsel skirt. And then I got my line. I got 40-pound mono here. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take the end of my line, and I'm going to thread it down the shaft of the hook, just like that. And then I'm going to give it eight wraps around that line. So I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then I'm going to grab all the way to the other end of my line. So I got the other end here. And then this time, instead of going down, I'm going to go up through the eye. And then while I'm grabbing this, I'm going to take that line and lay it down the shaft. So now I have two lines in my hand. Then I'm going to wrap it eight times again. And then I'm going to pull that slack through all the way from that tag end, making sure this stays untangled. Just keep pulling, make sure it doesn't get tangled up. As you guys can see, it kind of did. There we go. Okay. Just like that. Make sure you tighten it up. Then I clip my tag end. So now you have that hook fixed on there just like that. Then I'm going to take my second hook. And instead of going down this time, I'm going to go up through the eye again. And thread it all the way down my line until I get to the... I get to the second or the first hook. And then I'm gonna do about a one and a half finger gap. So about right there. As you guys can see, it's about one and a half of my fingers. So then I'm gonna do another eight wraps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Go to the other, other end of my line, go back up through the eye again, hold your wraps. Lay that line down the, the shaft of the hook. And another eight wraps. And then we're just going to cinch that tight again. Making sure not to get it tangled up. Pull that tight. So now you got two hooks on there. They're fixed. They're not going to slide. And the next step is you're gonna take your P-line tinsel skirt. They make all sorts of different colors in these, but this one's green just to, it's kind of green and orange, so it's kind of gonna match my hoochie, but they make tons of colors in these. And these are kind of tricky to get on sometimes, so we'll see if I can get it. There we go. Okay, thread that down the line until it gets to your hooks. So now that's on there, I'm going to take the hoochie now, I'm going to thread this line up the hoochie, and down the line, make sure that's nestled on top of that tinsel skirt, just like that. So now you have your two hooks, your tinsel skirt, and your hoochie. And last but not least, I'm going to make sure I tie on this swivel so I don't get twisted up. 
Just a basic, simple, uh, basic fisherman's knot. I'm gonna put that, that up the line. Pull it tight. Clip the tag in. And that's pretty much it. You got your swivel to your main line, a 40 pound mono, all the way down to your hoochie, to your tinsel skirt, to your two hooks that are fixed, they're not sliding. And that is a very easy, simple way to catch fall chinook and coho out in the ocean. And you can probably use this in the rivers, but those fish are so aggressive out there in the ocean that they're almost guaranteed to bite this. And you can troll this behind a flasher or you can mooch it. Either way, whatever way you want to fish it, it's a very effective way to catch some fish. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you guys have any tips or suggestions. And I appreciate each and every one of you guys out there for watching my videos. It really means a lot. And until next time, bye-bye.